Hello, this is an English lesson for the second grade of high school. Our topic for today is my dream job. My name is Jasna Dobrotic and I will be your English language teacher today. In this lesson, you are going to make a poster for a short job advertisement and try to use model verb forms in it. In this lesson, you will need a notebook, a pen or a pencil, a mobile phone, a computer or a laptop, the internet and a QR code scanner. Of course, you can pause the video anytime you like. Do you recognize this logo? It's from one of the biggest technology companies headquartered in California that designs, develops and sells consumer electronics, computer software and online services. Who was this man? I suppose you recognize Steve Jobs, who was an American business magnate, industrial designer, investor and media proprietor. He was the chairman, chief executive officer and co-founder of Apple INC. So here are some of his most inspiring quotes. Do you want to spend the rest of your life selling sugared water or do you want a chance to change the world? Remembering you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There's no reason not to follow your heart. It's better to be a pirate than to join the Navy. If you are working on something exciting that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. The vision pulls you. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. We don't get a chance to do that many things, and everyone should be really excellent, because this is our life. Life is brief, and then you die, you know, and we've all chosen to do this with our lives. So it better be damn good. It better be worth it. Being the richest man in the cemetery doesn't matter to me. Going to bed at night saying we've done something wonderful, that's what matters to me. If today was the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? Your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. That's been one of my mantras, focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex. You have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. So how would you define a dream job? Is it a combination of something you love to do and something you're good at? but also an activity for which somebody is willing to pay you to do it. Which factors are necessary for a dream job? And which ones make a job rather unsatisfactory? Think about it. So what makes a job satisfying? Take a look at the following list and explain your order of importance and organize these factors in your notebook. Here are 12 things for a satisfying job. Being part of a successful team. Doing something rewarding. 
doing varied work, earning a competitive salary, doing enjoyable work, feeling that you are making a difference, having a good boss or manager, having a good work-life balance, having friendly, supportive colleagues, having your achievements recognized, having long holidays, flexible working hours. Would you add anything to the previous list? Here are some ideas that may be relevant for a good job. Your own office, job security, opportunities for travel and or promotion, holiday pay, on-the-job training, sick pay. Let's explain some of these important words and phrases. You can follow this link or scan the QR code. And how would you describe a dream job? Or the one that is not so dreamy? Again, follow this link or scan the QR code. When we talk about job descriptions, we often have to describe what kind of obligations these jobs include. There are things necessary for certain jobs, things that aren't necessary, and things that might come in handy. So, for example, police officers have to be good communicators. Teachers don't have to work in school during summer holidays. Doctors have to train for years before they can work. You mustn't worry about what other people think of you. We should enjoy our work. You shouldn't take too many holidays. You didn't have to get up so early. It's weekend. All the underlined words are model verb forms that are used to express obligation, something that is necessary. Negative forms are used to express that something isn't necessary. Must, have to, and should. These model verbs are used for obligation, but of course they have some differences. Take a look at these sentences. I must work on my communication skills. All applicants must provide proof of identity. So what do we use must for? It is used for personal obligation, something we have decided for ourselves to do, and also in written rules. What do we use have to for? We have to wear a uniform. Have to is often used for external obligation, for example, rules and laws. It is more common in spoken English. You don't have to work after five. Don't have to or doesn't have to is used if something is not necessary, but you can do it if you want. What is the meaning of mustn't? You mustn't smoke cigarettes anywhere in the building. Be careful. Have to and must are very similar in meaning, but don't have to and mustn't are different. Mustn't doesn't mean unnecessary. It means that something isn't allowed, that it is prohibited. You should come to work in smart clothes. If obligation is weak, then we use should. It means that something is 
not real obligation, but rather advice, good idea. For example, you shouldn't skip your lunch break. I had to pass the test before joining the university. Of course, sometimes we have to talk about obligations in our past, and have to becomes had to, which means that it was necessary in the past. I didn't have to pay for the entrance because it was free. If something wasn't necessary, then we use didn't have to. Now follow this link or scan the QR code and try to use all of these forms in the following exercise. In March 2013, Tourism Australia, along with state and territory tourism organizations and partners, launched the Best Jobs in the World Global Youth Campaign. What do you think they are? Watch this video to find out. Now click on the following link or scan the QR code and read a text about the best jobs. There are six links in it with the descriptions of these six jobs. Take a look at them, and then take the following quiz. Now think of a fantastic dream job. Make a poster similar to the ones in the previous article, and this poster should be an ad for this job and try to include all the duties and privileges associated with it, as well as qualities and qualifications which the candidate should have. Try to use model verbs for obligation as much as possible. There is a short example at the top, so follow the link or scan the QR code. Your dream job advertisement should, of course, include a title. We are looking for a dream job seeker. This is a new position in a modern institution. Your ad should also include the necessities of your imaginary company. What we need. We seek people who are quick at making their mind up and who can be relied on to perform their duties. You should definitely list skills that are necessary for your dream job. You must have a first degree from university. You must be willing to swim, snorkel, dive and sail. You must have standout photography, film, and writing skills. You mustn't be afraid of heights. You should also include responsibilities. You will have to work with young people in a job which is very satisfying, giving you a real sense of achievement. You will have to patrol pristine beaches. You will have to taste various types of beer and wine. You will have to protect Australia's natural wilderness. And of course, try to include a contact. And this is a checklist for your poster. I hope it will be full of smileys. Until next time, goodbye.